have been looking forward to making this video for quite some time now. The day where I get to update all of you on the progress that has happened in our lives the last couple of months, finally feeling like we are getting somewhere here in Paraguay. For anyone who is not aware, my husband and I decided to leave Canada, it was about five or six years ago, and then finally two and a half years ago we settled on where we were going to go to, and it ended up being Paraguay. If you want to know how we made that choice, hop on to the, uh, another video that I made a, a little while ago on all the things that we went through, all of the things we looked at before choosing. So anyways, there has been so much going on and things have really been coming together. So can't wait to share that. We have three kids that are all going to school here. We do live in the Campo Nueve area where there's a couple of Mennonite colonies, one of which I'm from, and we have put our kids into a private school that is there. And they are therefore learning German in school instead of Spanish at the moment. And they have really adapted so well. It was a little bit of a rough start for our youngest especially. She is very attached to me and so she had kind of struggled there with that but that she did in general anyways in Canada already. It was just a little extra not knowing the language but she has really come to learning the language and isn't yet letting us know how much she knows but we do know she's getting there and our son also who is in grade two he has always been struggling a little bit with focusing when it comes to schoolwork but it does seem like now that he's learning the language pretty well and he's getting pretty fluent in it he is adjusting pretty quickly and having great teachers that are very helpful and that communicate with us and give us advice on what we can do going back and forth like that helps so much we have been so grateful for that and then there's our oldest who as soon as she was getting the hang of the rules of the German language she just dove right into it and she is such a social person she has so many times told us like I'm so glad that I can go to school now in Canada we were homeschooling so and with just the way that our life was set up it wasn't ideal for joining like a bunch of homeschool groups and life was just kind of getting chaotic for us so this has been a really nice refresher restart and they get to socialize and they've all made friends I'm so grateful to see that and it's it has been a wonderful thing to do for them. We did have a struggle with getting their documents started. We They do have Paraguayan rights through my husband and I since we are both born in Paraguay. And so there was a little bit of a struggle with that and not knowing Spanish was definitely not helping in our case. We did try to do it on our own for the first little while since the first, I would say six, seven months felt a little more like a vacation to us since we were trying to wait on a few things that were loose ends that were being tied up in Canada and until we started our business. So we did try to do that on our own and we did struggle with it. I would highly recommend for anyone hire someone to do it. It makes it so much easier. And we did get a certain ways and then just kind of got stuck. But now that my husband is working we also didn't have time anymore so we ended up hiring someone now and now things are finally progressing we went this week and we got their cedula pictures taken and now in a couple of weeks they're supposed to have those and then we do have to make a trip out to Asuncion to start their residency process so hopefully things are going to keep going on the right track now and within I don't know 90 days the whole process is finished as for the land that we did not sell before we left Canada we we do still own that we had lotted it out into 13 lots and it seems as though absolutely everybody is feeling the unaffordability crisis that's going on in Canada and therefore just none of it is selling it was for single home which makes it even tougher these days but we do have a friend that is a developer he's been looking after it the whole time from right from the first stages of developing and he is now going to try to take a different approach with the town um, so Fingers crossed and we're praying that it is going to do something and hopefully get rid of that soon to ease that burden. Now on to the biggest update of all and the most exciting and that really accelerates getting going here. We finally have our import export license. We can finally start working after five months of after we started opening the business. We started it in May. We finally signed papers at customs this week that now allows us to import and export. So now comes the real work ahead of us. Now, the reason that it did take five months for us to get our business open is simply because there's just extra paperwork processes and opening a bank account has to be done also while doing that. And we did finally find one that was that worked really well with us. 
which took also a little bit of time. It just all adds up when it is something that is like import export that has to do with international trade and such. So that's why I did that. Otherwise it would have been two weeks to a month probably and it would have been fine. We would have been ready to go. Right around the time that we were getting started on opening our business, we did meet another local businessman that we got to know a little bit. And then after a little while, a couple times of talking, he offered to join businesses because he saw that he could be beneficial to us being more familiar with the inner workings of the country and how business works around here. And also we could be a great asset to what he already had going, which is a local mini market that's right close to our house. And we could also contribute to running that a little more smoothly than what it was going and then sunflower roasting and all of it combined just really benefited both ways. And so we decided to go ahead with that. So we've been busy working at that store lately for the last two months and that's where we've been earning our income. And then also I might be needing to step in there a little bit more and we are really excited to finally just get to work and feel like we are getting our life together here and it's going to go somewhere. So that's been really amazing to see and working with other people, getting to know more people, getting to know our community better through it. We're just really excited to be part of it and to make a difference. That is all the updates that I have for this time around. And if there is anyone who has any questions about moving to Paraguay, any of that kind of thing, I am very happy to answer them. I have been getting a couple and I am very happy to help. And if you like this video and would like to see more, then please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And feel free to share the video.